Now that you have an understanding of the history and context that have led Afghan newcomers to come to the United States, we will look at some social and cultural characteristics among Afghans, along with some basic considerations for programs. Before we get started, keep in mind that every person is unique. In your work, strive to focus on the individual, avoid making assumptions, ask when uncertain, and keep an open mind. There are over 30 languages spoken in Afghanistan, but most people speak either Dari or Pashto. Some Afghans may speak both languages to a certain extent, but they typically communicate more effectively in one or the other. Dari and Pashto are two entirely different languages. However, Dari and Iranian Persian are two dialects of the same language, Farsi. When Afghans use the term Farsi, they are referring to the dialect spoken in Afghanistan, Dari, and not to the dialect spoken in Iran. These two dialects are mutually intelligible when written, but very different when spoken. And therefore, a Farsi Iranian Persian speaker from Iran is not an appropriate interpreter for a Farsi Dari speaker from Afghanistan. Few Afghans speak English. Islam is the principal religion of Afghanistan. Most Afghans are Sunni Muslims, and Shia Muslims comprise the second largest religious group. There are also communities of other faiths, including Sikhs, Hindus, and Baha'is. However, the number of non-Muslims has decreased in recent years due to oppression and sectarian conflicts. Islam shapes most Afghans' identities and guides their day-to-day -day practices. However, people vary in how they practice their religion. Some are more observant, while others are more relaxed. Afghanistan is a diverse country. There are more than 19 different ethnic groups that each have distinct histories and rich cultures. Ethnic affiliation can be a significant organizing principle in parts of rural Afghan society. Inter-ethnic conflict exists both in Afghanistan and the Afghan diaspora. The most intense ethnic tension exists between the Pashtuns, the largest ethnic group in Afghanistan, and non-Pashtuns, such as Tajiks, Hazaras, and Uzbeks. In the U.S., ethnic tensions may influence how Afghans form communities and maintain boundaries among one another. Service providers should be familiar with inter-ethnic tensions and should establish clear policies to ensure that there is no opportunity for discrimination between newcomers and resettlement staff, interpreters, or volunteers from different ethnic backgrounds. Afghan newcomers may have never interacted with people from different ethnic and racial backgrounds beyond those from their own country. As such, they may not know how to engage with people they meet in the U.S. in a sensitive manner. In programs, consider including diversity and inclusion activities, including spaces where newcomers can explore preconceptions about culture and identity without fear of judgment. Gender-based violence is common in Afghanistan. In the U.S., balancing social and family life may be highly challenging for some Afghan women. Women may wish to remain housewives and may wish to work outside of the home and participate more actively in society. Working women may still be expected to prepare food for the family, wash, clean, and perform other household responsibilities. Like women, Afghan girls may also experience conflict between Afghan cultural norms and the American lifestyle. Within programs and services, work to create inclusive environments using open-ended questions and scenarios that allow both male and female family members to participate and see the value of changes in family dynamics. 